Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Today is January 7th. Time for another devotional. Ah, uh, enjoying my cup of tea. Uh, mm. Oh, oh, why did he make that so hot? Ah, uh, you know what, my husband, he made me this cup of tea and it's way too hot. Oh, what's wrong with him? He knows I don't like it that hot. Oh, mm. wow. Oh. Okay, I'm calming down. Okay. Oh. Or. Oh, wow, my husband made that a little bit hotter than usual. I have to remind him that I don't like it quite that hot. But, you know, it's okay. He tries, and he's such a great husband. So, yeah, well, ooh, that was a surprise. <laughs> okay, today we're going to talk about what's in your cup. What's in your cup? Well, what's in our cup is very important. And what's in our cup spills over... When we are bumped in life, yeah, all of us have been bumped in life, right? A lot of bad things happen or our day goes wrong and we get upset and tired and overworked and we're kind of like, ah, you know, ah, and sometimes the person nearest to, it, to us catches it. Well, as Christians, we need to make sure that we put good things in our cup so when it spills over, we can portray those fruits of the Spirit in our life. Now, we're going to read from Galatians chapter 5. We're going to talk about the poison stuff that can get in your cup. Now, the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, Righteous living, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, these are the things in our life, our cup. We don't want that kind of thing spilling over. One, it doesn't say much for our credibility as a Christian. And it does nothing but bring a lot of pain and hurt to people. Now, what are the good things we need to fill our cup up with? Let's look at this. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. So these are the things that we need to really put in our cup and let those things spill forth when we're bumped or when our tea is made too hot. Okay, now you want to hear with faith, see with faith, Trust with faith and listen with faith. And how do we do all this? Let's go over to Philippians chapter 4, 11 and 13. Okay, let's see. Here it is. This is the Apostle Paul speaking. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. Now, isn't that a great way to live? Any situation, learn to be content. That don't mean you have to accept it, but you need to be content and trust God for the outcome. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full, to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Isn't that great? We can do all these things. This is not impossible. We can do all these things 
through Christ who strengthens us. Isn't that great? Hallelujah, right? Praise the Lord. And life, you heard the saying, life is better with Folgers in your cup. <laughs> Remember that commercial? I'm kind of dating myself here. Life is better with Folgers in your cup. Well, life is richest when you put God in your cup of daily living. Doesn't that make sense? So, I hope you gained something out of this devotion for January 7th, 2021. I know when I put it together, I was thinking, yeah, you know, and uh, don't be too afraid of that introduction. I was doing a demonstration there. <laughs> I always try to spill forth kindness, as I hope you do, too. All right, everyone, that was the devotion for today. Now, I told you yesterday that I was going to show you my corner-to-corner -corner spiral afghan. I did put it in the link below if you would like to try it too. I love corner to corner. It's one of my favorite um, ways to make a blanket. Uh, there's just something about it that's relaxing for me. All right, let me get to it and show you how far I've gotten on mine, which I'm going to pick it up tonight and continue on with that in between my smaller projects. Okay, let me get it. Alrighty, and I'm using a J-hook. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. This over here. Alright, here it is. You see it all? Started in the center here, right? Right in here it started. And right now, as you can see, I'm coming around working toward this other corner way over here and then I already got my marker showing you go counterclockwise around and you keep doing that until you get it as big as you want now mine is this big so far and I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver stripes it does this beautiful rainbow colors I just let the yarn do what it wants to do. As you can see, I have some ends to tie in here. I usually do that after each round. I must have missed those, but that's okay. But yeah, that is the spiral corner to corner. She gives very good instructions on how to do it. And um, if you haven't tried it, yeah, try it. It's fun. It really is. You kind of get excited each round that's put on. I am making this to cover our bed, so got a little ways to go. It's taking almost a whole scheme for me to get around a whole circle now, but that's okay. All right, let me put this back on my chair, and let's see. Well, I tonight I am going to finish up that little heart coaster. I didn't do it last night. I kind of just took a break and um, watched TV with my husband and just kind of chilled out. My shoulder was hurting really bad. As you can see, I took a shower this morning, and this is what my hair does after I take a shower. It just kind of curls on its own, which is okay. When I brush it out, it goes poof, so <laughs> I don't brush it out too much. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne from God Crochet and Chatter. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow on God Crochet and Chatter. Remember, keep your crochet hooks warm, your heart full of love, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.